Hey, it's Shane with GotRom.com. This video is a step-by-step -step guide to fix scapular winging. Now, true scapular winging is when there's a damage to the long thoracic nerve, and that's not the most common reason why the scapula wings off of the back. Usually it's more kind of like postural issues, postural deviations, things that can be helped or corrected with some simple postural exercises, so that's what we're gonna cover. If you actually have true long thoracic nerve damage, then you should see a physical therapist and um, you might need more advanced help. But if it's just kind of poor posture leading to your scapula winging off your back when you're doing push-ups or rows or pressing movements or pulling movements, then that's what this video is about. So let's get into it. First thing to do to fix scapular winging is work on your thoracic spine. So you're going to take two lacrosse balls and put them on your upper back. We're trying to basically take you from rounded turtle back to superhero posture. When you have superhero posture, your scapula functions better. So you're going to roll up and down, breathing and relaxing, big inhale, exhale. Notice my posture kind of improve a little bit, and then I wiggle around, scrub out the knots, as well as using the lacrosse balls as a leverage point to teeter-totter over. If you want more intensity, you can go long arm position. My, my biceps are cradling my head so my neck doesn't clench to hold my head up against gravity. Breathing and relaxing, scrubbing, teeter-tottering. Once you've worked on the soft tissue and the joint mobilization, you're going to move on to some kind of gentle movement and stretching. This is a cat-cow mobilization from yoga to bring some awareness to what's happening to your posture. A slightly more advanced version of stretching your thoracic spine to get that superhero posture, which is going to improve your scapular wing, is this thoracic stretch using a bench. I'm going to use a PNF, proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation technique called contract relax. I'm holding my breath, then I push into the bench, and then I release and sink deeper. You should not feel the stretch in your shoulders. You should feel it more in your mid-upper back, right in between your shoulder blades. Then we're moving on to downward dog from yoga. Again, the target is the upper back if you feel too much pinching or pain or impingement in your shoulders. You might need to do a little shoulder mobility before doing this stretch. The next thing you need to do is work on your anterior deltoid. These muscles on the front of the shoulder, the chest, the anterior deltoid are like the hand brakes on your car. If they're on, the car is not going to drive very well. Similarly, if your chest and anterior deltoid are tight, stiff, short, your shoulder blade can never be in a proper position and you'll always have scapular winging and poor posture. So we're scrubbing back and forth across this kind of front tip of the shoulder. You can also use a larger diameter ball and work on the chest, uh, but right now we're just getting the anterior deltoid muscles. These are especially tight in people who do a lot of pressing, bench press, push-ups, dips, things like that. So it's really, really important that you stay on top of this and keep them opened up so your posture can be opened up and your scapula can be in a good position. Then we're going to move on to stretching that front of the chest, releasing the hand brakes. I like to do this stretch on a bed or a bench or even a door frame if you're standing, but there's something special about this sort of mm, lying position. Um, so put your low elbow on the bench, turn away, Make sure that you're feeling the stretch across the chest, not in the front tip of the shoulder, not in the bicep, just across the big chest muscles. Notice that I'm wiggling back and forth, breathing and relaxing. I'm using that PNF contract relax technique, wiggling, bouncing, all different techniques to get a muscle to relax and open up. Once you've kind of corrected your posture with some of the exercises that I showed you in the video, you want to cement in that better posture and groove proper pushing and pulling movement patterns. So here's what we don't want to see. We don't want to see you doing push-ups on the ground and as you come down, 
this happens and your shoulders tip forward like that at the bottom. Similarly, if you're doing a pulling movement and you're pulling something towards you, we don't want to see this tip forward and your chin jut out like that. Um, or if you're doing chaturanga and yoga, you don't want to have your elbows tucked in nice and tight and you collapse into this position at the bottom. We want to have the chest broad and flat. And on the back side, your shoulder blades should be squeezing together. They should be coming together as if you're kind of squeezing a pencil in between your shoulder blades. So whether I'm doing push-ups or I'm doing rows, this should remain broad and flat and my shoulder blades on the back side should be squeezing together kind of nicely. So if you've worked on your neck and your pecs and your thoracic spine to get some good posture, groove your pushing and pulling with those cues that I just gave you and that will really help your scapular ringing. So now I want to show you what bad pulling and bad pushing look like and what good pulling and good pushing look like. So I'll do bad first and then good after. The first thing you're going to see is my shoulder rounding forward and I've got an anterior tilt of my scapula. That is an incorrect way of doing it or the correct way is I get my chin tucked, long giraffe neck, and then I squeeze with my shoulder blade. I'm leading the movement by driving my elbow back. That's the proper way. Shown from another position or another exercise, rounding the shoulders forward. My, my shoulders are shrugging a little bit. That's not what we want to see. Poor scapulohumeral rhythm, meaning my humerus and my scapula are not working together. Whereas here, you can see it's a nice smooth motion my chest is saying, staying broad and flat and open, and that's what we want to see. In the push-up position, or in chaturanga and yoga, the chin juts forward, the shoulders round forward, ugh, bad, bad, bad on your shoulders. You can train your shoulder blades and your serratus anterior and all your muscles to function better than that just by thinking, squeeze a pencil in between my shoulder blades, don't shrug, open the chest, spread the chest, and that's how we do our push-ups. If you need more help with your posture or with scapular winging, check out the 45-day desk posture therapy program at gotrom.com.